at first I was like, I was just too tired to get on here and talk. So that's why I was gonna just be a little time-lapse music situation. Cause y'all know I'm not a morning person, but my applesauce is spoiled. <laughs> so I guess I'm not having breakfast today cause I need to go grocery shopping. Um, but yeah, I got this huge jar of um, unsweetened applesauce. It's organic, it's just made from organic apples and I was gonna make like a little acai situation. Not, let me not even call it acai because acai is like a specific fruit, but I was gonna do like a little bowl with some fruit and granola. I don't have any like whole fruits to top it. I mean, maybe I could still use this puree which I feel a little iffy about these because they just be on the shelf. So I'm like, how is it really fresh? I don't know. But I've been hungry all night. And I was wait, hoping to wake up and have something. Um, I could do a breakfast sandwich, but I haven't been into eggs lately. So I don't really want a breakfast sandwich. Um, matter of fact, I don't have bread, so I don't have Ezekiel bread, so I can't make a breakfast sandwich. Um, I don't know what to do right now. I wonder if I have this with hazelnut milk and maybe make it like a cereal. I don't even like cereal like that. Um, but I'm hungry and I don't really have much here. So I'm going to try to just eat this like cereal with some hazelnut milk and see if I like it. terrible so it's snack time as you can see i'm much more awake than i was at like 10 30 in the morning which sounds crazy but i'm gonna get my sleeping schedule right i promise i don't know what's been going on with me but I really feel like doing a little espresso for like a pick me up because I have a video to edit. But I'm feeling much better. And for a snack, I'm just having this Lesser, Lesser Evil's Clean Snacks Pink Himalayan Salt Popcorn. And the ingredients, organic non-GMO popcorn, organic extra virgin coconut oil, and pink Himalayan salt. Super clean, super simple. The serving size is one cup, but I just kind of just eat until, you know, I'm satisfied. Sometimes I measure it out, sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna snack on this, and I'm about to actually go edit my video. about to just slide out and go shopping real quick it's 5 58 and like i told y'all this morning i have no groceries so i have a little list i'm gonna be going off of just to pick up some fruit because i like to try to get fruits in in the morning eat some pasta so we're doing like a spaghetti dish <laughs>
this worker helping the little old man into his car like god bless him oh, how cute is he Just bear with me a little bit. I'm just prepping and cleaning my fruit with some vinegar and water to kill off the bacteria and everything like that. If you do blueberries or anything that's not open, use baking soda too because you really can see like all the grime coming off. My mom actually taught me that and I was like, wow. With the raspberries, I just do the vinegar. So I wouldn't recommend doing it to raspberries. I'm just putting away the rest of my stuff and then we're gonna get to dinner. And I'm gonna do spaghetti with chicken and probably some string beans on the side. <music> cutting this watermelon it just reminds me of my summers in new york like it was such a treat when our grandparents like bought the watermelon out like because it was so big it had to be like peeled and cut so it's kind of a chore for like our grandparents it was like a lot but when they bust it out and like cut it the smell of it is just nostalgia it reminded me of those days summers in new york was popping like those are some of the best moments of my life Mom's parents would do the watermelon, my grandpa would cut it in the kitchen, and sometimes my dad's parents, but, well, my grandma on my dad's side. <music> currently 9.32 it's currently 9.32 I just finished cleaning the produce and like setting everything up so when I just want my fruit and vegetables I can just grab it and it's clean so right now I'm about to be getting into dinner I'm having chicken spaghetti I gotta season the chicken as you saw I picked up some organic chicken so I'm gonna just season that up I like to do just simply salt pepper garlic onion powder and then sometimes I like to put a little bit of cumin in my spaghetti just for a flavor. It just tastes good to me, so sometimes I'll do that. You know, I'm not Italian or anything, so it's not going to be no authentic Italian dish. And then for the pasta, I just like to use this chickpea, organic chickpea pasta. The only ingredient 
this organic chickpea flour. These you do have to boil it exactly as long as they say because I've tried to boil it a little bit more to make it a little more tender and it turned into like a gummy paste. So you always just wanna follow what's on the back of it. If you ever get like red lentil pasta or like black bean pasta, that you can like boil it a little bit more. Those are, red lentils really hard so you can either boil it a little bit longer or just like put the whole pasta dish in the oven and it'll get kind of like more tender. But this, you def gotta like abide by what's on the back. So I'm just gonna be boiling this. So I'll take my chicken. I got a little Pecorino Romano, you know, organic non-GMO straight from Italy. So this is some good stuff. <music> definitely recommend a different alternative like i said whether you do chickpea or red lentil or something like that just so you're getting or they even have spinach like they have a bunch of different kind of pastas nowadays just so you're getting nutrients rather than just having that enriched wheat pasta this is another example this is spinach fettuccine and it's just wheat unbleached wheat flour spinach powder and water so it's flour that hasn't been processed or bleached water and spinach all right so again this pasta is a little hard to gauge like i think it's done it could be a little bit more tender so i'm just gonna put the whole thing in the oven and i like a lot of sauce y'all know that of course this is organic and no sugar added delicious guys i put the um i had an organic mozzarella stick and i put it on top and we're gonna dive in oh it looks so good fire all right i'm gonna finish this and i'll cut y'all in i don't know maybe like for a midnight snack i'll probably have like one cookie so i'll catch y'all in a little bit cookies here y'all i highly recommend these i do feel like you can make it at home and like save a lot more money but the main ingredient is like cashews and i don't think there's like any other leavening like flour or almond flour or anything as y'all saw i just added like a little bit more chocolate chips and i buy the enjoy life chocolate chips because it's no additives no natural flavors but there's like three ingredients so those are the ones i buy but i got these from sprouts so it's just like raw cook. You can eat it like a raw cookie dough because it's technically like not cookie dough or you could bake it like I did. Um, I'm not a raw cookie dough person. I just bake them. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend. But I'm going to enjoy my cookies. I'm going to turn on the TV. I'm a TV girl. If you don't know this, now you know. I love watching TV. Give this video a thumbs up or comment down below if y'all like these what I eat in a days. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more healthy lifestyle content and vlogs. And I'll see y'all in the next one.